Here's Dave. Hey guys, Dave here with Funky Food with Dave. Paula. Hey. Jake's over there. He says what? Well. over because he sees us sitting here, so he thinks he's going to get something. Um, hope everybody's doing well. We just an update. We had a very successful weekend at the uh, 2023 Vermont Summer Festival. It was a really good weekend. We met some good people, um, sold some product, a lot of good vendors. Some lady was there with fried cheese curd, which was oh my god, awesome. Uh, we had a good pizza from there, and one of the best iced coffees I've ever had. It was a maple iced coffee. <laughs> Fantastic. Dave doesn't even drink coffee, nope. but he okay. was zippity doo dah. You know what's strange is I don't drink hot coffee, but I like iced coffee. So figure that one out. Um, hope, I, like I said, hope everybody's doing well. Remember, if you like this video at the end, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. And today we're going to have a product from Salsa Sisters. Actually, who, I videoed if them. If you watched our video, video, yo, <laughs> you saw Paula do a barbecue sauce of theirs. But this is the one I was looking for, and I don't have my glasses. Here, honey. Um, this is her dragon's breath homemade salsa um, which is tomatoes peppers onion garlic crushed red pepper celery sea salt and it's gluten free you can check them out at salsa salsa sister salsa at gmail.com and www.salsasisterssalsa.com or facebook at salsa sister Vermont. so when i asked her what the peppers are um it's dragon's breath Primo Tali and a seven pot. Can't remember which seven pot it was. Either Primo, Duga, I can't remember. So this should be a pretty warm salsa. Uh, we had fun this weekend. We had our little peppers set up so people could try. Oh my God, that was a riot. So I had it set up so you could oh, you could try uh, jalapeno to start, then go to a Thai, thai red chili. And then from Thai red chili, you go to habanero, and then habanero to ghost, ghost to scorpion, and then scorpion to uh, reaper. And I, I, I did find out one thing: women can handle hot stuff better than men. Thank you. On the most part, the women were trying scorpions and Carolina reapers, and they were getting the reactions, but they were nowhere near as bad as the guys. We had one guy that ended up. He literally bit into it, and two seconds later was over the uh, trash can. But other people, it's weird watching how just even a little Thai red chili would affect some people. But that's the great thing about peppers. That's, this smells so I can smell it over here. Oh, I've got smell it. Mm. oh wow, that smells good. Yeah. Um, one thing um, about her salsas, there's no sugars at no sugars added. And it's oh, all natural. Yeah, but I bet that's warm. Oh, it's gonna be warm. I mean, if it's Dragon's Breath and Primo Tali and Seven Pot, which I'm not sure which one, but all your Seven Pot versions are hot. So let's get a nice spoonful. There we go. So you can take a look at it, see what it's, and see all the seed and stuff in there. If you could smell this, oh my God. Yeah, I can smell, you really smell the garlic. You smell the garlic? Mm hmm The tomato, the peppers. I'm thinking, but I'm not positive. I think there might be actually even har uh, habanero in here. Oh. That's what I smell. It smells really delicious. There you hot I've never had dragon's breath yet so I take uh, well it's warm your forehead's getting hot it's already fading which is yeah it's already fading as it's going to zero mouth heat it's all right here right down I can feel it going <laughs> Zero mouth for me. For me. Well, uh, maybe there is a harbinero in there. So if you had a harbinero, you'd get the mouthy. It's warm. I would. It's not. I 
it was already hot when I got in here, so some of this sweat is from just being hot. It's like humid in this house. New shirt, one of many to come. I like that. One of very many to come. Flavor. Let's do the flavor first. I'd probably take another beat, beat, another bite for uh, heat. So flavor of a scale, one to two being no per nasty, three to four is below par, five to six run of the mill, seven to eight marvelous, nine to ten is outstanding. I'm going to give this a nine. I like that. I like the sweetness that's in it from the natural flavors. I love the garlic. I love the bite. This is a really good bite. Heat level, I thought it was going to be more. Okay, yeah, because I'm waiting for you to give it because I'm like, okay, is that something I can try? Mm. I really get the onion and garlic, the sea salt, the celery. You get the peppers. Now, this bite here, I made the mistake of taking my tongue and then going like that on my lips. My lips are burning. I thought it was going to be higher. Personal opinion. I give this a solid. I'm gonna give a solid two, heavy two, leaning towards that three, but it's a two. So for me, it'd be about an eight. Well, this probably puts you right up there. Okay. It's pretty warm. But I have zero tongue burn, so I don't think there's any harbinero in there. So if Kathy's watching this, if she could let us know. I don't believe there's habanero, but there's definitely a pepper taste in there that I have never had, and I think that's that dry, that's that the dragon's breath. I've never had the dragon's breath. So yeah, I'd give this a solid two, heavy two. Flavor though is is a nine. You don't want to try one. Piece of cheese. This is what we had for the weekend. We had cheese. You could try your hot sauce with crackers or cracker. Because and then I had yogurt on standby for people that were on fire. Wow, well, we went through yogurt. <laughs> One guy, he saw his two friends do it. Oh, yeah. And I told him it's hot. They did it, and they, they, you know, they handled it all right. They did the, the reaper. But without, he just dove in, grabbed one of the biggest pieces of the reaper, put that in his mouth. He's the one that was right over the trash can. We, well, I'll be posting a short little, like, two-minute video of a guy that did... Uh, Pretty good hunk of Reaper, and then he did a pretty good hunk of uh, I was pepper. impressed with that one. Yep, he, he uh, <clears throat> affected him a little bit. I got some peppers from the, I was showing you there last week from uh, Silver Creek Pepper Company. I tried a lot. There's one of them that I tried this week, and was the T-Rex. God, that was good. That was really good. Um, I wish I could remember the, the other two. I, tried. I know, but we're placing an order with them. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to try it with some cheese. Wow. That's really good with cheese. But it knocked the heat down. Other than on my lips, because I made the mistake again and put it on my lips. That really knocked the heat down. But this would put, this is a solid heavy two for me. Somebody that's into the habaneros, probably right around maybe a three or four. The jalapeno level, you'd be up at probably a six, seven, maybe pushing eight. Oh, wow. That's pretty warm. Excellent hot salsa, though. Anything to say, honey? No, have yourself a beautiful evening. I'm actually going to go to bed early tonight. I am so tired. I was doing paperwork today. I found my eyes going cross-eyed. I do, uh, I have some stuff going on tomorrow, and I'm like, I got to get my night night. Uh, yes, I'm excited to do that local, one. Um, one of the guys that I've known forever in town, um, Austin Daniel, he dropped the sauce for us to try. So we're going to do a taste test video of that. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Yeah, so he uh, he actually bought a couple sauces, yeah. and he dropped that one off as well. So Thanks, Austin. Yeah, thank you, Austin. He's a who. And, uh. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, we will see you back here Wednesday um, for another taste test video, and it's going to be a travel video. So we're going to Can we travel to, to Florida? Probably. Awesome. We're going to head out of state, and then I think Friday we're going to do a... Uh, 
the uh, Campbell's Ghost Pepper Fiery Heat Chicken Noodle Soup. Which I'm, I'm looking forward to that because I'm guaranteed there's not much heat to it. But, alright guys, have a great night. And always remember, even though it's not a hot sauce, hot sauce never goes out of style. Or good salsa never goes out of style either. Alright guys, have a good night. Bye!